Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, we're going to do an unboxing of the Dual Link controller for the SNES, and this is the RetroBit Special Edition Street Fighter II controller. I picked this one up because it does both SNES and USB. It's also got this awesome artwork, so I'm extremely excited to open this up and see how the controller is. I've also brought along three other controllers to compare this one to. I have the 8-bit Doe SFC30, I have the original Super Nintendo controller, and I have the iBuffalo controller. Now, first and foremost, I highly recommend picking up a third-party SNES controller if you do still play Super Nintendo, strictly to save your hardware. So controllers, as you know, don't last forever. Uh, they'll probably last a lot shorter than the Super Nintendo itself. So when I can, I use a different controller so I don't ruin my Super Nintendo controllers. So here's the box. Feel free to pause the video if you feel like reading through all of this. I do like that there is a six foot cable. Try not to ruin the package here, it's been taped down. I'm not usually a package guy, but this one is incredibly nice. And I might actually keep this one on display. All right, so as you can see, there is the tip for the SNES and there is the USB tip as well. This is just USB 2.0, it is not a USB 3.0. Um, I don't know why you would need a USB 3.0 anyway for something like this. Um, and judging by the feel of this, it doesn't feel like this could easily break. I've heard some people said it could, um, but just by general feel, it feels pretty sturdy here, especially this area here. Um, some controllers have problems coming out of, uh, with the wires coming out of the top, just ripping out. I think Tommy, um, has the issue, that brand. Uh, this one feels pretty sturdy in there. I wouldn't put too much pressure on it, but it feels pretty good. So here's a close up of the controller itself. I think it looks incredible. I'm really happy with the looks of it. You got the concave SNES buttons on the top and the convex ones on the bottom. So this is the exact same as the North American Super Nintendo controller in terms of concave and convex buttons. And here is the back of the controller. Uh, interestingly enough, there is a screw underneath this sticker here. I didn't realize there was a warranty on these, but I'm going to guess there is probably a short warranty. If you were to open it up, you are to avoid it. Um, same general layout as the Super Nintendo controller and the iBuffalo controller and the 8 Doe controller. So the shoulder buttons are pretty close to the Super Nintendo controller itself. Overall, they're a little clickier than the rest of them. So the 8 Doe's are clicky. Uh, the Super Nintendo ones are mushy because they're pretty old. And the eye buffalo ones have a little bit of a click to them as well. I'd say the shoulder buttons are on par with the eye buffalo. In terms of the face buttons, I'd say they feel similar. They're probably a mix between the eye buffalo and the 8 bit doe. They do not feel like the Super Nintendo buttons. Um, in terms of D-pad, I would say this feels similar to the 8-bit Doe. I would say the 8-bit Doe has a better D-pad. So overall, the quality of this controller feels pretty good. Um, I would say the 8-bit Doe is still the best feeling uh, SNES gamepad out there. Uh, the iBuffalo is very good. The only downside to the iBuffalo is it is USB only, whereas this has the added benefit of Super Nintendo and USB. So would I recommend picking this one up? Absolutely yes. First and foremost, it looks great. There is a Mega Man version as well. Secondly, you can use it on computer or on the SNES. If you use it on the SNES, you save the wear and tear on your actual SNES gamepad, which I'm a big 
big supporter of. That's all I've got for today. Let me know what you think about this controller or the Mega Man version in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Take a look at my other videos, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. That's all I've got for today. Thank you everyone. Take care.